This project started out last summer. I had the opportunity to go through an old barn and pick out whatever lumber I wanted. There was plenty to be had at this location. It was a fallen down barn. I think the barn was built in around the turn of the century. So I went searching and tried to find the straightest lumber that I could. I got the lumber back to the shop and thought up a great project for it. This lumber was kind of old and twisted and cupped, and it's not really the best stuff to use, but it works. I set my fence to two inches and started ripping down the lumber. Once I had my lumber ripped down, I made sure that I had enough for two 15-inch sides and two 12.5-inch sides. took my pieces over to the miter saw and got all my final lengths. For this project I decided to use half lap joinery. For the 15 inch section of the frame I cut the lap joint at a 45 degree angle. spun the piece around and did the opposing lap joint. For the 12 and a half inch section I cut all the way through on a 45 with a miter saw. I set my gauge back to zero degrees and proceeded to cut the joint. Once I had a good tight fit with everything, I used 90 degree corner clamps and glue just to make sure that I had a perfect 90 degree angle. I glued and clamped the piece back in place. repeated the process on the other side. Once the glue had dried, I went ahead and drilled for the pegs that was going to hold everything together. I pre-cut the pegs, put a couple of drops of glue in each hole. Place the pegs, 
and then took my mallet and drove them all the way through the frame. After the glue had dried on the pegs, I took my flush cut trim saw and trimmed all the pegs flush with the frame. To create the groove for all the internal components, I used a quarter inch rabbiting bit and rabbited it all the way around the internal structure of the frame. Because the router left rounded corners, I had to take a chisel and chisel everything square. After measuring the square hole, I transferred those measurements over to a piece of birch plywood and went over to the table saw and cut it out. Last but not least was final assembly. Put a hanging bracket on the top of the picture frame. Grabbed glass, put it in the picture, and followed with the backer board. Took a couple of wire nails hammered those in, and bent them over. Well, there you go, guys. That's the final project. I really like how the rustic barn wood contrasts the picture of the Big Apple. You know, it's kind of like industry meets country. I really like that uh, aspect, and that's why I chose to do it in the barn wood. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on in the shop, you can follow me at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all those links will be left below. Again, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with another project.